Hey guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 20 video and today guys going to be giving you all the information and leaked cards that we will be seeing for tomorrow's Future Stars promo. It is back after being an absolutely massive hit back in FIFA 19 and I'm very, very excited for this promo. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like and I'm excited by a few of the players that we're going to be seeing for this promo. Now, of course, one guaranteed confirmed card as we can see right now on a screenshot that I did take of the hype screen type of promo when you go into Ultimate Team. 6 p.m. today. We're getting Jao Felix, obviously. We kind of knew that really like a few days ago. It was going to be 92 rated with 92 pace, so we have 92 shooting and 92 dribbling. Obviously, if that's going to he will be in there. And also a few other different things, like a few numbers in the top right there, 50.8198. Another number in the bottom right, a few letters as well towards the top left. I'm going to explain all of that in this video and previous sort of hype scream images that we've seen when going into Ultimate Team over the past few days. There's been like a lot of clues in there, which we're going to talk about in this video and basically kind of um, leak to you guys and guarantee you like seven cards that are going to be getting and also potentially like flashback cards as well that I think we're going to see through like stuff of my own research and stuff like that as well. So... We're going to forget about this screenshot at the moment. I'm going to have to talk, go back a few days. Unfortunately, I don't have the screenshots of other hype screen promos, but I've been able to get numbers that were taken where people have like noted them down and stuff like that. And I've been typing the numbers around online and stuff like that. And one of the numbers that was on one of these screens a few days ago was the number 23.5372. And uh, interestingly, they're actually the coordinates for where Gabriel Martinelli, the Argentine, um, very talented player, of course, with Arsenal. He scored like over 10 goals this season, something ridiculous like that. Those coordinates are where he was born in Argentina, which is absolutely insane. There's no coincidence about that. Gabriel Martinelli will be in Future Stars, which is fantastic. Another number was... Um, it was 34.4502, which is the coordinates of a Racing Club, the team in Argentina, not the team in... Um, Spain, although they're called Racing Santander. But anyway, um, yeah, the team in Argentina called Racing Club. Now, interestingly, Larutu Martinez, the current Inter Milan striker, um, actually, his first club was with Racing Club before he went to join Inter Milan, of course, on the European stage. So again, there's no, like, that's just too much of a coincidence. So again, that's very much likely that Larutu Martinez will be in this promo, which is very, very exciting. There was also, I'll put the image up on the screen. We're going to be probably getting ourselves a Tomori from Chelsea. There was a leaked image uh, that actually went up onto Reddit. I think it's taken from maybe Tomori Snapchat's account or maybe someone that was like with Tomori or whatever. It basically shows like his like Future Stars pinky purple card on a couch and you obviously see like, I, I don't think you can see his rating or anything but you can obviously see him with the English flag and centre back. I don't think you can see the rating though, although I might be wrong on that, but um, it's very likely that he'll be. It also says like a, a caption that was taken on Snapchat. I can't remember what the text actually says, but um, you'll obviously see that when you're watching the video for yourself. But uh, again, another card that we're very likely to see. I think also Hudson Adoy from Chelsea could also potentially get in, but obviously at the moment, we only have pretty much like guaranteeing that it's going to be tomorrow that we're going to see as of the moment. There's been like no kind of um, clues that I can find to see that we need Hudson Adoy as of yet, but of course. Um, we still could very much get him. Uh, and then another uh, number that we did see was 58.5429. And that is the latitude for Norway, which means that there's very likely going to be a Norwegian player in this promo. And there's two Norwegian players that come to mind when you think of that. Halland, of course, now Borussia Dortmund or, uh, or Erdegaard from Real Sociedad. It's more likely to be Halland because obviously as like a marketing move by EA, people know that he, if he gets like a, like a 94 rated card or whatever, for example, um, people are going to want to spend a lot of money to be able to pack him or at least be able to get coins to be able to go and afford him. It could be Erdogan as well. He's done very well, obviously, at Real Sociedad this season. I still think he's actually on loan from Real Madrid and he's done like various different clubs, but he's actually now doing the business in La Liga, which is very, very good. Both of them could well get in, but I think obviously if one of them is more likely, it's going to be Haaland from like a marketing point of view and also because he probably slightly more deserves to be in there than Erdogan. But um, there we go. There's obviously another leak in there, but it will be Erdogan. Um, no, sorry, it will be Haaland. And I don't think Erdogan will go in there because I think there's too many other future stars than him um but even so there we go with that one and then uh, getting on into the screen that i did take from it today we'll talk about this number in the top right 50.8198 now, I typed these coordinates in onto Google, and you come up with a place, and I apologize if there's any Italians watching this, um, if I like don't pronounce this well, Via del Flumicello, which is like a borough or a village or whatever within the city of Napoli. Now, of course, 
through predictions and stuff like that, what we've seen on Twitter, through um, YouTube that other YouTubers have been doing. There's two potential Italians that we could see for this promo, that being Tonali from Bresca or Mert, the goalkeeper from Napoli. Now, both of those players were not born in Napoli, but um, obviously Tonali plays for Bresca, has no real connection to Napoli there, therefore. It's more likely to be Mertz because obviously Mertz is the current goalkeeper for Napoli and he's been linked with it. Obviously, there will be a goalkeeper in this promo, so I think it's very likely to be him. And obviously, currently right now on the hype promo screen, it's got him with the Italian flag. So I think, again, that's too much of a coincidence, the fact that those coordinates link to somewhere within the city of Napoli. Um, I don't know if that plays Via del Fluencello means anything to Mert. I'm not too sure. Um, obviously, he I know for a fact he wasn't born there. He was born in a completely different part of the country, as far as I'm aware. But um, even so, another good card that we could very much see. And then uh, this one's a bit of a far-fetched one. I'm not going to put it in the title for this video because I could just see it getting a lot of dislikes. But if, if you know if you have got this far, I'd be interested to see what you think of this. Now, interestingly, it could mean two things. This number in the bottom right, 13, 12, 26. 16. Now, I was thinking at first, was that date the 13th of December 2016? I was looking to see if there was any like amazing things that happened on that particular date. There were football matches, like the FA Cup second round. There was a few Premier League games, like I think Everton beat Arsenal or something, but there wasn't really anything at all. So I then started to think about shirt numbers. Shirt number 13, shirt number 12, shirt number 20, and shirt number 16. And this is what I came up with. Icons that are in FIFA have these shirt numbers. Deco, at some point in his career, wore the shirt number 20. Michael Balak wore the shirt number 13 at some point in his career. Roy Keane wore 16 at Manchester United, and Thierry Henry wore shirt number 12 at Monaco. However, it's not likely to be Icon SBCs. I think that's too far-fetched. What I think it is, of course, I just like any other promos, like um, what we have for the headlines, what we have for Team of the Year. It's likely to be some of the flashback cards that we could get for this promo or player moments. The first one being Higuain when he was at Real Madrid. He wore the shirt number 20. Thomas Muller for Bayern Munich wears the shirt number 13. Sergio Baguero when he was playing for Argentina. I don't know if he's changed his shirt for Argentina since to number 9 or whatever. But for a period of time, he had the number 16 when he was playing for Argentina. Not for Manchester City, just for Argentina. And also Olivier Giroud when he was at Arsenal had the shirt number 12. So... I don't know in general if this is a bit of a far-fetched one. It'd be great if Icon SBCs came back because I know the community as a whole would love it, myself included. And I think there'd be four fantastic Icon SBCs to have um, as like Prime Icons or whatever. Because uh, obviously um, Prime Icon moments aren't available yet and won't be available until some point in February, I think. It's more likely to be the flashbacks and even so... Take this whole part with a pinch of salt because I'm not that sure. What I've told you beforehand is pretty much kind of nailed on to happen. But with this particular number... Um, I'm almost guessing, but it's interesting. Some of the stuff I've come up with that, you know, the fact that it links to four icons within FIFA and to four players that could very much well get flashbacks or player moments cards. Like Aguero could get a player moment, um, Muller could get like a player moment or a Higuain could, and then like Giroud would get like a flashback card back to his days at Arsenal. It very well could happen. And then to finish off this part of the video, I'm going to be honest, this, this final part, I don't have a clue of. And actually, there's something that I've missed, which I'll talk about right at the end of the video. There's a few letters that have come up on this new screen since 6 p.m. today. G H X I E M L F T A A. I don't know what they mean. I've tried to put them in. I feel like I'm playing Countdown, which is like a game show in the UK. Trying to like, um, there's like a certain word for it. I can't remember where like you reassemble letters. There's like a certain thing for it. I can't remember what it is. Um, there there, there is a word for it, but I completely forgot what it is. But um, I can't fit anything. Obviously, it does lead to something. Does it lead to a, a potential place in like a city or whatever or a town that might leak a potential card? It certainly doesn't spell out a player's name. I know that for a fact. But interestingly, I want to go back to uh, the, there were actually a few other letters on a different hype screen promo from a few days ago. And they actually, once they are like re-scrambled and assembled together, they actually spell out a place called Ponte Preta. Uh, and that is the place where uh, Rodrigo, the new Real Madrid signing or a uh, Yavis back in the summer, I can't remember, um, scored his first goal in Ponte Pira and that means it's very likely that Brazilian that we've got on the left hand screen there with 95 pace is very likely to be Rodrigo of Real Madrid so that is pretty much everything I have got 
for this promo um so i've pretty much been able to find out everything apart from what those current letters mean on the new hype screen type of promo um i don't know what they could be i'm going to try and continue to look at them tonight and then if i find anything i'll put it in the comment section of this video and i'll pin it but uh, if anyone else could find out that or maybe you know see what you think about maybe you know will we see those icons please what do you think what we see those particular flashback cards i'd like to know what you guys think as well but anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you guys later